team's home opener tonight, the D-backs that is, and guess which team has the highest payroll in baseball? The Red Sox. <laughs> Thank you. Well, they won the World Series. <laughs> yeah. And they're probably going to do you pretty well. You get what you pay for. Twen Boston's 25-man payroll is an astounding $222 million. That's according to MLB Team Payroll Tracker. But what about the players who haven't made it to the major leagues yet? The minor leaguers. How much do they make? The minor leaguers don't make much, if anything at all. But a former minor leaguer has established an organization to help young ball players with, believe it or not, financial aid that the big leagues don't provide. Richard Sines has a story. It's not official, but Manny Machado reportedly has agreed to a 10-year, $300 million deal with the San Diego Padres. You see it dominate the headlines. Big league players making the big-time bucks they've always dreamed of. By the way, here's breaking news, folks. Ooh. Breaking news. Bryce Harper to the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, geez, Dodgers fans are going to be crying, huh? But lost deep in the dugouts of the minor leagues is the reality that thousands of ball players are barely getting by. So depending on the level, you're making $45 uh, a game, you know, $60 a game, $70 a game. And for non-roster invitees, the entire spring training is unpaid. Extended spring training, no pay either. The players do get three meals a day and housing, but from April through September, you get food only before and after games with no housing and zero equipment. So the minor leaguers that are playing in spring training right now are not getting paid? Not getting paid. And if they stay in extended spring training, they didn't make a full season team, April, May, and half of June are unpaid. They're playing six days a week, 11, 12 hours a day, and they're not getting fed at all, or they're not getting paid at all. So, you know, if they were to make a full season team, 142 games, they're going to make, you know, 45, 50, 60 dollars a game. You know, the AAA guys are going to make 75 dollars a game and walk away from the season with $10,000. So for a guy a step away from the big leagues, he's making $10,000 a year. That's why Jeremy Wolf has stepped up to the plate for minor leaguers with morethanbaseball.org. They're not being paid much and that's pretty much not going to change for another couple of years so we're doing what we can to house them and feed them and equip them throughout the season. If anyone knows what it's like to pay your dues in the minors, it's Jeremy Wolf. It wasn't that long ago he was literally living that life in the New York Mets organization. So I played two years and I, I loved every second of it. Like being a minor leaguer, I start all these conversations with, it is uh, amazing, it's awesome, we love it. But at the end of the day, we have to pay for our own equipment. We have to pay for our own housing. We have to pay for our own food. And, and it's just the way things are. You know, some major leaguers say it's a rite of passage, but I knew that there was something that we could do to help guys from you know, sleeping on an air mattress in the kitchen or seven guys to an apartment or going to bed hungry after they play in front of 10,000 people a night. And so we know that collectively we can actually make a difference for the minor leaguers now and the minor leaguers in the future. You know, we don't scream from the rooftop saying pay them more, pay them more. What we're doing is being proactive and saying this kid needs a case of bats, we can get him a case of bats. This kid needs a glove, we can help get him a glove. If, if this kid needs a place to live, we can help find him a place to live. And the concerns Wolf has expressed have been heard. And that's why at events like this, you've got people looking to join the team, like Melanie Nichols, who started a GoFundMe account called FeedTheReds.com. I felt a little bitter because I put thousands of dollars a year into the game. And like, why can't we pay these players barely? Like, it just seems pretty messed up. But some people still won't play ball like Arizona Congressman T.J. Shope. Who put on, a, on the floor uh, a bill to uh, negate minor leaguers from making minimum wage during spring training. We invited him here to come speak to minor leaguers. I'm sure he maybe he knows one or has been to a minor league game, but we want him and we want those people who think that we should just shut up and dribble. We're, we're tired of that. We're tired of the rift. We're tired of lobbying against minor leaguers. We, we want things to get better. So what time is he going to show up? What did he say? Uh, He's not coming. He's not coming. But he was invited. He's not coming. So he can call me, and I'd love to have a conversation with him and, and any other representative or person who thinks that minor leaguers aren't deserving because they're professional baseball players. You know, we're employees. Employees hoping they could one day make the big bucks playing on and in the field of their dreams. I'm Richard Sides for Fox 10 News. Now, for anyone inspired to help out, we've got a link with tonight's story on fox10phoenix.com, and it looks like some teams are starting to come around. The Toronto Blue Jays have agreed to raise minor league salaries by 50%.